Alright, I had mentioned that I'd switch to the uh, high lift blades. It is now fall and we're picking up leaves and you can see it just does a much better job picking up stuff. If you've got the low lift blades on or the gator blades, the mulching blades, um, it ends up leaving a lot of leaves behind or just not picking the grass up as well. So I really like the high lift blades now. I pretty much use them for mulching and um, even in the grass, he kind of went quick there so he didn't get the leaves. But um, even during the spring and fall, like when it was growing really thick in the fall, I found that the mulching blades, or sorry, the high lift blades did a really good job mulching. Actually provided a much cleaner cut probably doesn't mulch quite as well as the mulching blades. Reminded me a lot of how like a, a Toro will just keep the grass in the deck for a really long time. It doesn't chop it up on the first cut, but it really sucks up the grass and keeps it up there for a long time. I think the best cut performance is with the high lift blades for sure. Uh, and I'm not bagging, so just mulching with the high lift blades. So, um, so yeah, we'll go through some thicker leaves here. There's some spots where there's a little more. It's not fully covered, you know, and they're not like, they're not maple leaves. It's a lot of uh, hickory and um, buckeye leaves, so. But it's not super dry today. It's not perfectly dry. The leaves have a little bit of moisture in them. Um, it's just a little bit of moisture in there, and so they're not just disintegrating. Um, so being able to mulch this is a pretty good sign. So I'll do a little before and after once we're done here.